teams in all the SAC. 5-1 Carroll traveling down south to 5-1 Homestead at Sparty's house. It is our must-see matchup on Fort Wayne's NBC. We now head to Walter Stadium where we find sports reporter Megan Sally. Carroll and Homestead fans in for a treat tonight. Two high-powered offenses. Less than a minute to go in the second quarter. Jeff Becker to Aiden Lazoff. Chargers cut the Spartans' lead 35-28 to now. After a season-ending injury in 2019, Braden Hardwick still knows how to run hard. 45 yards to the house. Spartans stay in front. This chain gang tonight, a lot of work. Later in the third, Becker back at it again, this time to James Coverstone. This is the definition of a back-and-forth game. Spartans still solid, though. Evan Ormsby, a shot down the middle. Jared Kistler in stride. The 46-yard touchdown, a beauty. Homestead wins this rivalry 70-41. to Bishop Dwenger also vying for first in the SAC, hoping to stick with Homestead at 6-1, but must win the battle of the Bishops. In the first quarter, Saints go for it on fourth and goal. Devin Tittman takes off, dives for the end zone. It's good. Saints up 7-0. to zero. The Knights keep it close early. Carson Clark finds the speedy Sir Hale. He hurries past the defense 57 yards later. Touchdown. But the Saints like the sound of that SAC title. Tittman takes it away, rushing for the touchdown. Bishop Dwenger never looks back. Wins 43-6. Chris, back to you. Thank you, Megan. Rivalry week continuing as Snyder and Northbrook square off at their home Spooler Stadium. But Snyder in total control of this one. When Tavarius Easley Jones makes this kick return look easy, he takes it to the house. 30 zip Panthers. And then on the defensive side of the ball, a tip by Ison Robinson to Lamarian Bailey, who brings it in. And Snyder is in business once again. QB Luke Halpert hitting Tyler Dent for another quick six. Snyder saying this is our house in a shutout, 44 to zero. Concordia hosting Wayne. Brandon Davis looking end zone, but the Generals Justin Alexander bird watching for the INT. Soon after though, the Cadets get that ball right back. This time, Davis doesn't miss his mark to Cam Johnson, a sizable snag as Concordia connects for the dub 27 to 16. Another meeting of North and South. The Legends hosting this year's totem pole game, and they are off to a hot start. Deuce Taylor throwing it up past one receiver's hands and into Arian McCarter's. A spectacular snag, and it's 21-0 Legends at the half. The Archers now on O, but Derail Hill would not be derailed in his quest for the QB. He has a field day in the backfield as Northside slams Southside 49-6. Undefeated Columbia City visiting the reigning state runner-up East Noble Knights. And it's the Eagles up, but Justin Marcellus for the East Noble score. And shortly after that, East Noble again. And again, it's Schuckbach to Marcellus. The Knights hand loss number one to CC, 27-10. 5-1 Leo on a four-game winning streak hosting Huntington North. It's a defensive affair into the second quarter when Caden Miller breaks free and is in for the score. But wait, a penalty calls the Lions back and the roar will have to wait. They do get the ball back soon after and are driving Cam's eyes lost on the carry but is stuffed near the goal line by the Vikings Jackson Holzinger. Fourth and one, the Leo faithful on its feet. Jackson Barber on the sneak and he scores. Leo never looks back, 21 to nothing. And that is all for sports.